Ossium is proud to introduce Logiscope. It's a 100 megahertz logic analyzer with 16 channels. And it plugs into an iPad or an iPhone. Rather than reading out a gigantic buffer like a traditional logic analyzer, Logiscope uses a sophisticated triggering system that immediately shows you the data you're looking for, just like an oscilloscope. This video will show you how our device works. The project that we're using for this demo works best if we tweak the scaling from the default to 40 microseconds. And that's as easy as pinching the screen. We're also going to set the delay to negative 80 microseconds. Now let's take a close look at simple triggering. As we navigate the display, you'll notice a few traditional oscilloscope controls return here, like auto trigger mode and adjustable hold off time. Trigger conditions may encompass one or up to four sequential events with adjustable delays between each subsequent event. A single trigger event can be arranged in two sub-events. The first sub-event could be set to count a certain number of instances. Either sub-event could be selected individually, or both sub-events could be selected for logical operation. A sub-event may be an edge trigger, a value trigger, a pulse width trigger, or various protocol decoding triggers. Let's start with an edge trigger. An edge trigger may consist of any combination of rising and falling edges. Triggering is now locked on this combination of edges. D15 is not part of this edge trigger, so it's transitioning, as it should, from high to low to high to low. We can add a value trigger to this event so that the trigger only occurs when D15 is also counting high. Now a value trigger may consist of a mathematical equality or inequality of up to all 16 inputs. The significance of each digit may be freely reordered by simply dragging and dropping. In our case, we've selected D15 for the one active space. Values may be entered in any standard radix. Now the trigger occurs when the set combination of edges happen and the most significant bit is counting high. Let's save this setup. Now we can reset the device back to the defaults and all we have to do is load our configuration and everything is just as we left it. This has been a quick example of how simple triggering works with Logiscope. Thanks for watching.